Today's video is brought to you by Gray Viking Games. Click the link in the description below to buy MTG Arena codes for cosmetics, packs, and more. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and we today are doing an infinite life combo and infinite damage with Mask with Nexus for science. <laughs> so we, uh, the first science series here, we're going to show off the combo full out with against Sparky, just to make sure that the combo is seen. You guys know what's what's available, like what can happen with this. Sparky cannot concede. And so uh, whenever you're playing these like longer combos, things that, that t tend to go off for very, very long, it's nice to be able to play up against Sparky just so that we can actually showcase the full deck. And then we can play up against other people. I think this deck actually has a chance to be really good and really competitive. Uh, and so I'm actually really excited about this one um and we might make some tweaks here and there but overall i'm actually really excited about this deck i think it's good i think there's a lot of consistencies with tutors to be able to make the combo kind of work out and everything like that so what's the combo bishop of wings is a really interesting card um, and it's the only card that reads like this and it's actually the second part of this that makes it interesting whenever an angel you control dies create a one one white spirit creature token with flying so Whenever an angel dies, you create a spirit. It's the only card that says whenever this dies, it does, like every other card that's like this has like a non-token or uh, yeah, a non a non-token creature dies, then something happens. Uh, the, the only other thing that's close to it is like Bajri's Lieutenant, which anything with a counter, and there's ways to make every creature enter the battlefield through counter. So you can like make some infinite combo loops with that. But with this one, as long as you can turn that spirit into an angel, and there's actually quite a few ways to do that. Um, you know, th there's there's always been this, this way where you can do it with uh, Divine Visitation, uh, which says any token entering the battlefield will be an angel. So you could have done it. So we've done it in the past with divine visitations, uh, arcane. Um, uh, what's it? The yeah, arcane adaptation, which is basically mask with nexus, except you could only turn like everything is one creature type, um, as well as the other types. Where mask with nexus now is the way to kind of do it as well, uh, where everything is all of the things. And so that is the main game plan with this this deck is that we are trying to make bishop wings go off. Uh, so once we have turned our spirit token into an angel token, then anytime that spirit dies, we're gonna make another token. If we have two bishop wings, we actually make up two tokens. You go infinite token combos or whatever you know, and that kind. Of thing so many ways to break this card as long as you make that spirit token an angel token and there's like i said there's a lot of ways to do that and it's one of the few cards that you can do that with so there's a lot of different combos a lot of different things we can go for um basically what we're trying to do with this one is that skirk prospector can sacrifice this angel spirit which is also going to be a goblin with mask with nexus which makes it kind of fun where we can sacrifice it add more mana so then we have an infinite mana or at least infinite red mana loop as well uh to and then also just be sacrificing everything we have ma uh, makeshift munitions to be able to spend all that mana uh sacrificing the creatures while well they do damage to face but every time that that spirit enters the battlefield again with bishop wings we also gain four life so it's infinite life pretty easily all we need is Skirk Prospector or a way to sacrifice a, a, a spirit. Right now we're going to go for the, the Skirk Prospector play. There are definitely other ways to do it. Like we can go into black for Woe Strider. Uh, that also lets you go into like Cruel Celebrant mode, uh, which Cruel Celebrant is another way to make infinite damage. Like there, there's so many different decks uh, with this, but we're going to do this one today. Just so you guys know, there's like infinite number of decks we can do basically around turn Bishop Wings token into an angel and other things and suddenly we have all of the decks <laughs> that you can play uh, so we will dive into those other ones another day today i wanted to kind of focus on something a little bit different um uh, sticking with the collected company version with Magda, to to, uh, which we will let us have treasures potentially as well, uh, which can help us tutor up our Mask with Nexus. Like that's the idea of this one is I wanted to make it as consistent as possible. Uh, Skirk Prospector also just lets us like uh, ramp up with Wily Goblin to get to Mask with Nexus a little bit quicker. And so the main game plan here is Skirk Prospector, turn one, turn two, Wily Goblin, get a treasure, turn three, sacrifice... Um, Wily Go Goblin and the treasure or whatever we need to to make sure we get Masco Nexus out. Turn four, Bishop of Wings. Um, hopefully have another creature out somehow, another script prospector, another whatever we need uh, to start making tokens go off and off and off. Um, and that is, that's how we win. There we go. Or we collect the company, get more creatures out and we can kind of do it. So that, that's kind of the hope is that we can also, uh, on, their, on their turn, we collect a company hit bishop wings and another creature and then we on our upkeep 
um, or on our turn, Masco Nexus, there's the combo. So it's a turn four combo. I think there is a lot of consistent consistencies uh, available in this in this deck as well. We also have just like Righteous Valkyrie for more life gain. It also turns everything into plus two, plus two, as long as we're gaining life. And guess what? We have ways to gain life. I wanted an angel in here. Uh, so that's there. So what's Magda doing in this? There's no other dwarves. Yeah, we could turn other things into dwarves. Uh, the idea here is that we can also just make treasures with the Wily Goblin. We can make treasures with Seize the Spoils. We can make treasures with pirate uh yeah pirates pillage and with those we can potentially get up to five uh treasures and that lets us tutor up the masco nexus because this deck becomes a lot worse if we don't have masco nexus it also just helps us make more treasures which ramps us up and fixes our colors we do have to have double white potentially double red uh and you know everything like that and so so that's kind of the idea is i wanted to try to make a little bit of consistencies having treasures does make does make it more consistent and we're fine if magda dies as long as we're getting treasures ramping up and we have the pieces in hand if we don't have the pieces in hand then we hope to find them and that's a way to, that we can do it so that's basically the idea of this deck uh and i i'm really excited about it so we're gonna be taking up against sparky real quick uh goldsmith dragons on the top end just because it's good it also adds extra mana to everything it's just powerful good stuff there we're trying to make treasures i want to have this kind of like treasure theme as well with it uh so other real quick just because i do want to dive into a couple other ways another way we can build this too uh is with woe strider um to be able to sacrifice the angels it also creates a, a token or an angel or whatever we need it to be uh with it the goat um as as well as cruel celebrant um or any kind of effect that whenever a creature you control dies you gain li one life that also goes infinite with bishop of wings so we got to do something like that at some point as well again like i said we've kind of done the bishop of wings combo in the past so i'm not going to spend tons and tons of time doing these over and over and over again these kinds of decks but it's still fun. I mean, come on. Whenever you get the ability to go off with a Masco Nexus fun shenanigans deck, it's just a blast because everything is everything. And that is a fun thing to do. So let's go ahead and showcase the deck up against Sparky. And then we're going to take it up against uh, some poor unfortunate souls uh, in free play as well and see how this deck does for us. Here we go. All right, up against Sparky. And this is exactly the kind of thing we're looking for. Um, we don't have all of the pieces, but we do have Bishop of Wings. We have Magda and we have ways to create treasures, which means we can at the very least start turning everything into angels. Sparing Vantage is awesome as well. So let's actually get out Sacred Foundry tapped. Uh, we're kind of just splashing the green. Um, everything, all of our green sources have either white, white mana or red mana attached to them so that we can make sure that happens. Uh, we'll play out Magda, hopefully. They don't play a good blocker here. <laughs> Please. All right, there we go. And we have the combo. We're just about. All right, so swing with Magda and get a treasure. Uh, let's actually play. Do I want more treasures here? I guess let's let's go for um, getting more pieces out. I don't want I don't want them to kill it. Bishop of Wings, Kirk Prospector. Pass the turn. I know I know it's Sparky, but Sparky gets scary sometimes. Every once in a while, they, they, it pulls out shenanigans that terrify me. Right now, they have nothing, so that, that's been good. All right, Roaming Bailoff. All righty, pass the my turn. So, uh, I think I just want to start making treasures in general. So, I, I'm actually fine losing one. Oh, actually, I don't want to kill Sparky, though. All right, so yeah, let, let's just go for Wily Goblin. <laughs> we have to keep Magda around to be able to play some stuff too. So pass the turn. We'll wait one more turn. Get up to three here. Mask with Nexus off the top would be phenomenal. Ugh. Rude. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Sparky. Oh man, all right, now we just have to wait. No blocks. Down to 12. We have a lot of card draw cards in the deck as well. There's Magda again. Um, do I shock myself against this deck? I don't know. All right, so Goldsman Dragon. I'm playing him out there. Swing in. Alright, three treasures. Whoa. 
Yeah, that's right. Fear me. Pass turn. I know. I, <laughs> okay. We'll find the mask with Nexus. This is the whole idea is that we're able to get out pieces of the combo. Uh, I could definitely see playing up against normal decks though. That, like this kind of a hand would be a little bit harder to make work. But it's combo. We're, we're trying to have the best hand of all times. And this just isn't it right now. Uh, we'll keep it a little bit higher. Okay, passing my turn. Um, oh man, I almost have enough to to combo off here. Play this tapped. Let's just play out Goldsman Dragon. I think we don't attack with this one. I'm trying just to make sure that I don't kill Sparky and that they don't it's like go do some shenanigans because Sparky does have like uh, spells that give everything plus four plus four or like uh, that kind of thing. So I also don't want to die <laughs> just in case. All right. Swings in, yeah, definitely, definitely has a chance to kill me right now. So we're we're just gonna chump. We have the other gold spend dragon to swing in with, get our fifth treasure, Magda, get the combo going, we're fine. Alright. Alright, not as bad as I thought. It wasn't the plus four plus four, but that, that's that's better. <laughs> okay. Alright. Not dead to Sparky. Life is looking good, looking up. Swing with gold spend dragon. Yep, hit him. There we go. And now we have infinite life. What? All right, so Magda. So infinite life does not mean that we have the infinite, uh, like we, we can actually just win straight up here. But let's go ahead and show off this part of the combo. So now, Skirk Prospector. Look, Magda is also a goblin. Uh, I guess I can swing in for more, for more stuff, but we don't care about Magda anymore, basically. So Magda's gone. Let's make a spirit. Oh, that spirit's also an angel and a goblin. Let's go ahead and sacrifice that as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we go, all right. We'll also activate this with the mana that we're making. All the life in the world, you guys get it. All right, so now we, we're getting four life every time something comes in. We have infinite mana. You can go off of this basically until um, the, like it's not infinite infinite because uh, at some point arena does stop you from doing stuff. But infinite mana and gen or infinite life in general, most decks can't deal with. They have to deal with uh, some way of either decking you out at that point, uh, which at, at some point you're just like, I don't care about my life total, so we can just build the best sports state possible. So infinite life does equal win the game a lot of times. And all we need to do now is get enough life total to uh, make sure that we can bring up the makes makeshift unit munitions. I can spoke, right? Uh, and then we have infinite damage as well. We can kill him with gold spend dragon and everything like that as well But that's that's the other side of the combo. So this is what we're trying to do uh, And yes, this is infinite life keeps on going infinite mana, which is also awesome. Maybe we should bring in like one um, I don't know Burn spell because that's another thing you can kind of do too. Uh, you can anyway, yeah, so back hunter Two counters on each other creature control in the oh, That's pretty cool all right, they're gonna get us hitting in a lot. <laughs> oh, oh, all the damage. Oh no, down to fifty-six. Oh no, this is this number is actually infinite. So, passing my turn. Yeah, we're just gonna keep not doing stuff. Make another angel. Why not? We'll swing in for treasure. Get him down to one. I, I will look for the makeshift munitions. The whole point that we're playing up against Sparky is we get to see the full combo here. Um, although I guess at this point it's kind of like we get a makeshift munitions, we pay one and kill them. It's not that hard to hard to see, right? So uh, we we might be done here now. Other things you can do, of course, just blocking stuff, killing everything. Um, oops, yeah, block. We're done. Yeah. So so this is the deck. Of, this is up against Sparky. This is how it works. We will kill them now because you know why not. Oh, look, more life gain. How about that? Pass my turn. Is it there? Okay, Magda. Well, let's make a few more treasures while we're at it. Why not? Uh, everything gets the pump. 
and now like the only other cool thing here would be righteous valkyrie as well righteous valkyrie to give everything more pumps and more life gain more of the stuff that's also pretty fun all right so that's it that's the deck there you guys go this is what you can do with it so let's go ahead and take it up against uh some poor unfortunate souls and see how consistent it is up against real people uh with how much interaction it can be i i think that finding collected companies uh, is going to help us a lot and then hopefully just having mask with nexus in hand will also help a lot so let's see how it goes here we go what can we learn more about your helping others with streams and youtube's endeavor uh, it's already up and live it's it's on on my youtube uh, membership page i i posted the second video um the other day i'm going to be hosting another one um in another few days up against mario a lot of pieces we want no lands sounds about right you know that's just that's just how it works <laughs> all right this is a good hand we will definitely keep this i like righteous valkyrie here with this um wily goblin i think goes away because we don't actually have a way to play it right now yeah it, it's it's a good card for sure but it's not necessary we'll just go bishop wings and righteous valkyrie gain us life slow the game down a little bit Try to make the combo happen. Lanny War. Alright, Bishop of Wings. Pass the turn. Um, if we had some of the other cards to get us more treasure, then I would play out Magda. As is, I'm not as worried about it. God's willing. All right, yeah, we'll just Valkyrie, gain a bunch of life. They can hit him for five. That's fine. <clears throat> Swings in, no blocks. Down to 17. All of the pieces. All of them. Come on, Maskwood Nexus. Uh, I, probably, I should play it with Magda first there. I, I was thinking I had double red, but I do not. Uh, we honestly might just want the scry here in general. Um, yeah, swing in. Pass the turn. Yep, Maskwood Nexus. Come on now. Yeah, should have played the Magda because that also gives us the, the mana that we need to get up to the Masco Nexus as well. Uh, so yeah, that was definitely misplay. I guess we'd be short anyway. Soul Warden. Uh, that does give them infinite life as well. We'll just have more infinite than their infinite. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> oh no. All right, what do they hit? Uh, so yeah, protection from white. That's the reason for the God's Willing. Makeshift Munitions is interesting. Um, we don't... It, it is kind of an infinite combo there. Oh, no. We have to have the Mask of Nexus still. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and keep this on, on top. It is another piece of the combo. Pass the turn. Down to 12. Makeshift munitions to any target that does kill the Soul Warden. Okay, pass the turn. We're not dead yet, so although the, the double left shot, actually, are we pretty, we're pretty getting close to the dead. <laughs> this ain't great right now. <laughs> uh, we'll probably just block with Righteous Valkyrie. Um, Kill the Soul Warden. Alright, this feels like an Ember Cleave. Does it feel like an Ember Cleave to you? It feels like an Ember Cleave. Alright, so block with Righteous Valkyrie. Wait, no, no, no. Sorry. Kill Soul Warden. Sacrifice Valkyrie. Get a Spirit Token. Please don't have Ember Cleave here. Stomps.
All right, well, Bone Crusher goes away at least. Sword dies. We still take seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, if we don't combo off right away, this makes it a lot harder to work. Hmm. All right, on to the next one. <laughs> Not hitting a fourth land also hurts a little bit there. I should have played out Magda earlier and just tried to get, get some treasures. Still wouldn't have worked out for us, though. All right, up against our Contras. And uh, can't keep this, all the expensive stuff. Some of it would have been nice to have. All right, Coco on turn three. This is this is the dream. So keep this. I think we actually dropped the Righteous Valkyrie here. We want the lands. We don't actually have any white mana. So we have to have... That's a little bit awkward. We have to get to... Uh, what's its bucket here? With this. All right, well, another Righteous Valkyrie. Sweet. Uh, dude, I can't think of Bishop. Bishop of Wings. That's the one. That's the turn. More and more aggro stuff in historic. Who would have thunk? Here's obsession. All right, down to eighteen. Uh huh. Uh huh. Battlefield Raptor. Yeah, flyers are actually really busted in this format, Rotten Isle. Um, I don't want to shock myself against this deck, but I guess uh, I, I have green mana in both places there, so let's not do it yet. Okay, Wily Gabo. Pass the turn. Righteous Valkyrie actually becomes really good now. Hitting multiples of those would be sweet here. Empyrean Eagle. Yep. Pretty quick stuff there, sir. That's my turn. All right. We have that. So this is the combo. This is it. All we have to do is find, um, find the dude off the top and not die now <laughs> because I shocked myself. But pass the turn. We play click the company. We have to be able to have enough life to shock ourselves here. So Bishop of Wings has to be in the top. How many cards? Six cards, uh, which is really high odds, really. Um, all right, so Coco. And we actually do want another creature, so just in case. Coco. Oh, please don't have a counter spell. All right, Bishop of Wings. Oh, please don't be dead. Don't be dead, dude. And Magda. Yeah, that's right. We're doing shenanigans. Don't kill us. We're so close to dead. Oh, nothing, nothing. No rally. No rally. Oh, I think we have a shot. I think we have a shot. For life. We can still shock with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Life's good. Okay, pass to my turn. So, we do have to shock. Uh, we don't have to shock, but we're going to. All right, Maskwood Nexus. Please don't counter this now. Don't do it. Don't you dare. Yes. Yes. All right, so we actually want treasures to be able to play Righteous Valkyrie later. So, uh, let's actually go ahead and start swinging in with stuff. Um, so, swing, swing. Get two treasures. All right, I mean, if they're not doing anything else, we're going to hit. I can wait until they actually try to play other stuff out. All right, yeah, block with that sailor. You do that, sir. They're making angels. <gasps> All right, I'm not sure if they see it yet. Uh, all right, now they're going to go to blocks. Lock to Magda. All right, well, now let's go ahead and sacrifice this goblin. What? Well, oh, how about that? Now it's a spirit and an angel and all the other things. You know what we should also do? You know, let, let's just let's just go off at this for a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, yes, yes. You know, now that we have the mana available, let's, let's go ahead and... Uh, 
let's start making a little bit extra life with this every time. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, and they thought they had a shot. Oh, it's so cute sometimes. All right. Now everything's getting us seven life every time something enters. So a little bit faster infinite, I guess. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and make a token here. A little bit more life gain. Let's sack here again. And we have flyers for days by sacrificing the, the Wily Goblin here as well, actually. So let's go ahead and get rid of that one as well. And infinite. There we go. That's the game, sir. Yeah, how do you beat infinite life? Some decks just don't. And if we especially get to start like making tokens every turn, doing everything else we need to, like at some point, you just die. All right, we're up against rest, and we do have the ability to play Bishop Wings, Vitress Valkyrie, Wily Goblins. That's not all of the combo, but at least these pieces are good, so we're gonna keep it. We have to like shock ourselves uh, for all the damage that we'd end up getting out of it. My little guy's banging on the door. <laughs> sorry, guys. Bishop of, we of Heaven, sorry. Speaker of Heavens, I can spoke, right? Uh, sparking Vantage, well, a blocker, why not? No glass caskets. I beg of you, do not do it. <clears throat> okay, it wasn't a glass casket. I should have I should have been more specific. Don't kill my dude, dude. Um, all right, Wily Gabo. We can also just go for, hey, look, we have lots of treasures. Next turn we get a uh, gold spend dragon. I mean, that's not the worst play. It dodges a lot of the removal that this, uh, I was gonna say Mono White typically has, but this is Orzov. Never mind. Righteous Valkyrie. We know how to play that too. All right, well, right now we're just playing good magic. We don't have the combo in hand. Just get in for damages. Keeping the life total a little bit lower. Down to 15, ramping ourselves up. Um, actually, no, yeah, pass the turn. We do want to get to five treasures so that we can use find a Muxus off the top, which finds us uh, a Nexus off the top, which just makes things better. Hollow Priest. Gains life. Gets triggers. We cry inside a little bit. Bishop of Wings of their own. Gosh dang it. Swings in. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of life gain here. Double Righteous Valkyrie though. Ooh lordy. All right, pay two. We get the treasure so we can play it all. Yeah, that's right. Fear me. Swing in. Down to 16, keep that life total low. Uh, we also just have lots of flyers to be swinging in with too. Any angel, though, gains them so much life. Like a Baneslayer angel here would be awful. That's about as bad. But not enough. Swings are five. Uh, we'll chump lock when it's a little bit later when we need to. So down to 12. Collected company. Mm -mm -mm. All right, pass the turn. So two Bishop of Wings would be nice, or just two other Righteous Valkyries could be pretty cool. I mean, I can dream, right? All right, uh, or Skirk Prospector, Bishop of Wings, and then we find Masculine Nexus off the top. That is, that's what's gonna happen. It's not even, like it's obvious, that's obvious. <laughs> Come on, they had the most busted hand of all time. Cool. Gosh dang it, sometimes, you know? Yeah, we get it. You have life. <laughs> it's cool. You had all of the cards. I gotcha. Mm 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, it's large in stature. Sounds good. Go to combat. Swing with stuff. Coco. Ah! Uh, two masked nexuses to the bottom. Stink. <laughs> I didn't cuss. <laughs> All right. Family friendly. I got it. I got it. There's Masked Nexus. It still doesn't really help us a whole lot. We can gain some life here, though. By swinging in and getting a... Tr Actually, wait. No, no. We still have it just with Goldspan Dragon, right? So, um... Yeah, there's no other artifacts. I, I was debating on trying to find, like, another just really busted artifact to have with this deck. But, uh... No attacks for now. Pass the turn. All right. Um, well, we can hopefully slow the game down a little bit more. Only has two toughness even still. Yep. They're doing some stuff over there. No, let's just not have a response. There we go. We get up to 10 life. Yay. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> that one bitch of a wings would be so amazing here. But nope. No, no, no. Can't have that right now. Um, all right. Let's see here. So block, block. Um... Block. What do we have to keep around? <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. Go to one. Yeah. All right, well, good game, sir. We never found the combo. We're done. Oh, man. The, all the masks nexus to the bottom. So, yeah, that that is one of the biggest issues. I do think that maybe even going into blue with this so that you have the arcane adaptation or maybe even just playing like all of the ways to turn that spirit token into an angel is a better way to go. Because uh, you could do that. You could do that for sure. Up against waste of space and... We, we have a lot of the pieces. I like this hand. I do indeed. It is awkward to like get out Skirk Prospector and then do nothing with it, <laughs> which is probably what we're going to have to do. But yeah, know what? It can hit in for one. Pass the turn. Yeah, this this has a lot of a lot of good stuff going on. Stinking speaker of the heavens, come on. All right, well. Um, yeah, well, man, we're, we're so far away from doing anything still, actually. Uh, discard a card, draw two cards, create two treasures. So we can get rid of one mask with Nexus. The treasures actually stop being worthwhile. <laughs> All right, well, that is another piece of the combo. Pass the turn. <laughs> like, what in the world? <laughs> Skirk Prospector into this. Well, yeah, that's the combo. Oh, my gosh. I hate people sometimes. <laughs> oh, and no lands. All of our four drops, zero lands. No ways to make treasures. Sounds about right. <laughs> Dude, flipping mono white is so annoying. Oh my gosh. Dude, how unlucky can you get? Let's let's take up Gander here at how many expensive things we have. We do have quite a few expensive things. Are we just dead? See, this is why it's fun to play up against Sparky for a little bit. It's because 
They don't just destroy your combo with dumb stuff. I had a promise. Oh, yeah. Down to five. I just want to kill that guy for the fun of it. Was it fun? Yeah, a little bit. All right, pass the turn. We do get double Coco. That could be something. Hollow Priest again. You have to chump block at least with one creature. Okay. Really? Really now? Well, I guess I guess that does help us chomp. Um <laughs> Taft land. Uh, let's just Coco now. See if it's worth sticking around. That's a lot of life gain. All right. Okay, back up to nine. All right, we're we're in the game, kinda. Swings in with just the one. Yeah, that's that's what we're looking for. Down to two. Mask with Nexus into Magda. Do I swing with Goldspin Dragon? We get four mana. No, we go Mask with Nexus. We play out Magda. All right. And this is now a good chump blocker for us. We just needed to gain the life real quick. No attacks past the turn. Now anything else we play, we're in good shape. And now we just have to find Skirk Prospector, Soul Warden. Now we just have to find a way to kill Soul, Soul Warden as well. <laughs> I mean, we're technically gaining more infinite life than them, but you know, infinite versus infinite. Is this is this where the um, the more infinite really matters? All right, let's uh, let's create another angel. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, and it's a cleric and angel. Yep. Okay. Gain some more life. Up to twelve. Gold spend dragon. Actually, do I just want to go? Tr yeah. Gold spend dragon's also a little bit tempting, just to get some ramp going for us. But pirates pillage. Get rid of a masquid nexus. We could just have the combo here if we find the right pieces. So, uh, Heroic Intervention, actually pretty nice, too. We can hold off one more turn. Shadow Spear, that does give Trample. Now we might need the Heroic Intervention. Yep. Alright, hits for 10. We can block all of these guys on here and then play the heroic intervention. Ah, whatever. We'll just jump. There's still the chance that they have removal as well, like a glass casket or something. All right, back up to seven. Mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, tapped land. Well, makeshift munitions is also a little bit interesting. We just get to kill things, gain all of the life real quick. Ah, uh, we can kind of do that still anyway. So yeah, I could go to one dragon, gain a little bit. All right, we will swing in with Goldspan Dragon. Just get the treasure. Uh, we, so we can we can do this four times now, and we can still hold up like uh, heroic intervention if we need to. So play out makeshift munitions. Um, add two red mana doesn't matter. Activate the ability. Kill Soul Warden. Now 
Another trigger. Oh, uh, wait, cancel. Yeah, resolve. We want this to die first, and then we'll do another one. Yep, more life gain. Face, sack again. All right, just a little bit more life. And we can gain another uh, 10 life if we need to. Sounds great. That's the kind of stuff we like to see. Hold up heroic intervention. Swing, swing. Okay, block here, take 15. This is permanence, right? Yes. Haha. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we, we should be able to just kind of finish this game off now. Uh, and there's this Kirk Prospector. So infinite mana now. Yes, life's good. So this is this is the infinite combo right here. So we got it all. So now we can sacrifice this. So sacrifice the token over and over again. Infinite mana, which means we have infinite makeshift munitions because we have infinite tokens. And as long as we have enough creatures, we can respond to any kind of uh, stuff. Oh, cancel, wait. Munitions go to face. Sack here. We have this for days and days. And we can respond at instant speed because we have at least two other creatures to be working with. So, yep, sack here. Keep it going. Yeah, that's awesome. Infinite life, infinite mana, infinite damage. <laughs> that's... That's a pretty cool combo, you know? <laughs> Just all all of the things are infinite. <laughs> right? I mean, that's pretty fun stuff right there. I like it. All right, guys, we got the full combo, and I think it's a good place to end it right there uh, with the makeshift munitions and everything else. Infinite life, infinite damage, infinite mana. I mean, what more can you ask for? Infinite. I, what, what even more is there to be infinite about? Uh, infinite draw, card draw. There we go. I should have. I should have found a way to draw more cards as well. <laughs> so, uh, which with infinite mana we can totally make happen. <gasps> brilliant all right so anyway this was definitely a fun deck absolutely had a blast playing it i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did please leave a like and subscribe if you've liked the four science series make sure that you uh uh make sure that you like and subscribe the things you should do anyway if you like the stuff do the stuff uh and the that's that's the secret phrase today if you like the stuff do the stuff okay guys that's how it works here so anyway <laughs> dude i'm such a goof all right see you guys in the next one and bye, -bye.